Hey there! Today I'm not going to talk about a fountain pen, but I'm going to talk about a very useful fountain pen accessory. That is, a pen pouch. Now, I have a number of pouches, I'll talk you through each of them, and by all means my collection is not exclusive. So there are many more pouches out there, uh, pouch makers out there, which I haven't sampled, but, you know, people ask me about my, my pen pouches, what brand is this, what brand is that, so... I'll settle the score, I'll tell you what I have. First of all, there are two types of pouches, I think. There are pouches that you buy separately, and there are pouches that come with specific pens. So today I'll cover both. I'll start with uh, the latter category, pouches that came with specific pens. So for example, I have, I think the first pouch I got that came with a pen is this one, Yard Lead. Um, it says Yardlet quite uh, clearly. This is a leather pouch. It's an interesting type. As you can see, it's very flat. I don't have my Yardlet at hand. Um, I'll use... No, wait, that will be sacrilege. Forget about that. Uh, I, I use another pen. This is, well, not exactly the same size, but what you do is you just squeeze this part. It opens up you put in the pen and the pen will stick out a bit not just this pen the same thing with the yardlet which is actually useful because then you can easily pull it out again the pen is protected it's leather uh, on the inside is uh, I don't know some type of nylon that could have been a bit nicer because I think nylon can actually scratch your pen uh, so I'm, I'm not sure whether it's great never had any problems with it by the way but just to bicker a bit um, so that's one way to transport your pen uh, this is what you get with the uh, uh, higher-end yard lead pens. That actually implies there are lower-end yard lead pens, and I don't think they exist, but you catch my drift. Another type of uh, very interesting and playful pouch is this one. Looks really nicely. Uh, leather, just leather, uh, with, I think, a little bit of sort of fluffy covering in there. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it's uh, a type of, like, like cotton. Uh, came with the uh, Jean-Pierre Lépine Indigo Nice pen and just put it in there. It's useful, it's simple, I really like the design. Uh, you can sort of squeeze this end and then the pen will emerge again. Nice, simple design came with the pen. Uh, another nice pouch that I like, very nice shape, uh, came with my Amas 360 another flat one, it's leather the Amas is a really large pen really large, so here I have a standard pen pouch, I'll come back to this in a second uh, you kind of see the issue here it's, it's huge, it, it won't fit so it came with its own pouch a again one of the systems you just squeezed a bit, it opens up, this is leather with some type of soft covering in there, it feels like velvet you just put your pen in and you're done. You can also put it in with the clip out so that you can easily take it out. Um, useful. Nice grey leather, by the way. It looks uh, looks nice and fancy. And then finally, I have two of these, slightly different shaped, but uh, the idea is the same. Um, these came with my Laban pens. This one came with the uh, Scepter. This one came with the Kaiser. I'll demonstrate it with the Kaiser. It's the same concept on both. It's a so it feels a bit like velvet, but fake velvet. Doesn't matter. The inside it's pretty smooth. You just put in your pen, pull the strings, you're done. You can carry your pen in relative safety. Of course, this is not padded or anything, so if you start knocking about your pen, if you use your pen to hit a nail in the wall, then you're going to damage your pen. But you probably don't do that anyway, right? Okay, then we have pouches you buy separately, and these come in varying shapes, sizes. So we'll start with a simple one, not a cheap one, but a simple one, a one-pen pouch. This is by Marchiaro, which is an Italian brand that is, I think, a daughter branch of Delta. Uh, these are not cheap, but I got this one for free with my Delta pen, Delta Dolce Vita Oversize, as the name implies. This is a big pen, not as big as the Amas, but still it has quite some girth. 
which would make it a bit difficult to store it in a standard pouch. So I got this for free, which was very, very cool. Uh, the nice thing about this is that it's, it's really big, it's leather, it has a very large capacity. You can just pop in your pen. Of course, this way it's a bit difficult to get it out again, so I always put the clip on the side. You slide it close to close it like that, and you have a nice pen pouch, which feels very decent. Uh, this one can actually also be used for a mask. So if you have an mask pen, a 360, I mean, you can put that in without any problems, and it'll work. Okay, so a one pen pouch. You have two pen pouches. Uh, this one belonged to my grandfather. Um, it's leather. I'm not absolutely sure what the brand is. It says Berba, B-E-R-B-A. I'm not sure whether that's the brand or the, the specific model. I couldn't find a brand anywhere. In any case, this is a two pen pouch. So it slides open and in there are two pens. Uh, in my case, two preppies. I use this, I, I take this to work. One of these preppies holds Blu-rays to write on whiteboards. One of them holds Dragon Catfish Green to uh, for highlighting. So this is a highlighter tip. So I put those in a separate um, pouch so they can always find them. The interesting thing about this pouch, it looks a bit like, like snake leather or something, crocodile leather, I'm, I'm sure it's not, although it is leather of some kind. Um, the interesting thing is that it has a little divider in there, but that's I think about an inch long, so you, your pens are not you know, protected from uh, hitting each other uh, all the way down. It's a fairly small divider. A good thing about the divider is that it is not actually connected to this part of the pouch. So, if you have a very thick pen, like this one, you can in fact put it in and the, uh, the pouch will accommodate that, which is nice. Okay, there's also three pen pouches. I think Aston from the US makes them. I don't own a three pen pouch. Uh, what I do own is a four pen pouch. This is my everyday carry pouch. This is by a Dutch brand, Dutch brand, uh, Van der Speck. Uh, which means uh, from the bacon, literally, which is interesting for people dealing with leather. In any case, um, I think there's a brown version of this and a black version of this, and it's Dutch, so that's good. Um, and it holds four pens. Now, four pens, I think that's a very nice size. I think that's, it's, uh, that's why this is my everyday carry uh, pouch. Um, Four pens is nice. To, I like to carry four pens. It's an, it gives you a nice variation in pens. So today I switch this around, but today I carry the Mont Blanc Meisterstück 149, one of my more expensive pens. I carry my cheapest pen, the Parker Jota. I carry my very nice custom-made pen by Brad Thompson, and I carry my uh, Noodler's Ahab pen. Um, this pouch I have had for years. Uh, I already had this when I was studying at the university, and as you can see, it is still in prime condition. This is really tough leather. So if you're looking for this, I'm not sure if you can find Van der Speck in uh, uh, the US or anywhere outside of the Netherlands, but there are shops that sell them, especially in the Netherlands, there's a web shop, La Couronne du Comte, which sells these pouches. They're not particularly cheap, but as I told you, as you can see, the leather will last. So, that's a good thing. Right, now, there was a time when a four pen pouch was all I needed. But, then my pen collection started to expand, and expand, and expand. So I needed something else. So, at first I bought this. A very typically shaped pouch, but I like it a lot. In fact, I love it dearly. This is by Visconti. This is the same shape as the Visconti pen clips. And this has some nice features. It zips open and it open it holds twelve pens. One of the nice features of this is that the, the, the pen holder thingy uh, 
is actually just a bit of a molded plastic, I suppose, which is covered with some soft material, and these dividers go all the way down. So there's no way your pens will rattle and, and hit each other. Um, you know, they don't get into fights or anything, which is a good thing. Uh, what I also like is that you can actually uh, pull this back a bit, and then there's a space behind it. And that's actually made so that you can carry documents. Now, of course, this is not nearly A4 or letter size, so I'm not sure what type of documents you would have to fold them in half, but the idea is nice. You can put stuff there. So what I use, if I carry this, sometimes I do, I put a, a, an ink cloth behind this, right? Because that's, that's useful. Another nice thing is that you can use the Visconti My Pen system, which means that on this little uh, zipper, there is this little thing with the Visconti logo. Well, that's just a magnet. You can take it off and you can replace it by different um, My Pen system things you can buy. Little magnets with, for example, actually, I don't think those are magnets, I think the magnet is in there. You can just buy these little things with your initials or a gemstone or, or a, a zodiac sign, whatever. You can put it on there. Now, I can't show you how to uh, take this off because it kept falling off, so I just glued it in place. Dutch solution. Um, then, on the other side, the back side, so this is the front, on the back side there is another zipper with a pouch, which is a bit tight, but it is nicely padded. The whole thing is padded, so it's, it's leather, and it's, it's fairly soft. I like that. And especially the back is padded, so you can really put some, some stuff, I don't know, cartridges or converters or whatever, you can put it in the back. You can't put bottles of ink in there, but, you know, you can carry some stuff, some, some pen accessories, which I think is, or maybe some blotting paper, whatever. Nice idea. I like that. Twelve pens. Okay, then, I just have to put that away. Okay, then we have the monster. Because, you know, the 12 pen part was good enough for me until my collection expanded even further, and then I needed this. Now, this is a monster. This is a big bastard. This is the Marchiaro. Marchiaro, again, I already showed you a Marchiaro pouch. This monster holds no less than 40 pens, uh, which is kind of nice because you can sort of get to your high street and say, you want to buy some pens? Here, buy pens. I have pens for you. I'll make a special price for you, my friend. Uh, so y you can do that. 40, 40 pens it'll hold. Uh, it has this nice separator, which you see here, which is a type of suede, I think, um, which will make sure that the two layers of pens will not accidentally hit each other. Uh, so that's, that's a good thing. One thing I don't particularly like about this pouch is that these elastic bands, well, there's only one of them, so your pens will actually, you know, get into contact with each other. Now, I'll be completely honest, I don't mind a few scratches on my pens, but some people are really picky about that, they really don't like it. If you're one of those persons, uh, you may want to steer away, or steer clear of this. Uh, there are other brands, I think there's a nice brand called Libelle, which, which is funny because that's the Dutch word for dragonfly. Uh, I think it's... No, I, I thought it was an Asian brand, I'm not absolutely sure. Um, they hold 40 pens and they have two bands. And I think they're a hell of a lot cheaper than this one. So if you're in the market for a big pen pouch, uh, you could check that out. Uh, this is leather. I have to say, it is extremely decently made. It also comes in bright orange, so then you get a bright orange thing with a, a little black line there, I think. And that was a bit too flashy for me. It feels fantastic. It's big, it's heavy leather, it, it feels really nice, but it is expensive. So, there are some alternatives out there. I think the 40 pen pouch is the biggest I've ever seen, but maybe there are even bigger ones, larger ones, I'm not sure. Uh, in any case, so, these are the pen pouches, they range from stuff you get for free with pens, to stuff you buy, to huge things you buy. And that's all I got. So, this stores a lot of pens. I want to hear about your pen pouch. What do you carry? Three pens, four pens, two pens, one pens, not a pouch at all. Forty pens, eighty pens, seven hundred pens. What do you carry? I want to know. Please, put a comment down below. So. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.